what system is this originally for? So this came out. This is the system it's for. It's for Steam and PS4. This is 2019, I think. Editor can correct me. It is trying to provoke being an older game. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to hand this controller to Justice, because you're going to be playing this. You know nothing about this game. And actually, before we even go that far, uh, roll intro. Hey, guys. Lard here. Got Justice with me. Oh! Got Diabetes Ninja with me. Top of the morning. I've kind of secretly been liking calling you Diabetes Ninja. I don't know why, and I apologize. Isn't that your name on something? On Twitter it is. Yeah, because you can't use diabetes in your name. <laughs> yep, because that, that would mean that you're trying to bully somebody if you they're worried that you'll grab someone else's picture, call yourself diabetes, and be like, that guy has diabetes. <laughs> Alright, so... Japanese developer, gotcha. How would you start a Twitter for like a... Like a diabetes-related support group or something? Because you wouldn't be able to use the word. I assume that you can uh, talk uh, to the admins. Uh, you can do that, but you have to like abbreviate your comp like organization's name. That's why organizations like that have weird names. Um, oh my god. We already got a trophy, which the viewers do not oh see. Oh god, is it alone in the dark? So that's the tower. I guess I'll make my way there. Dude, the voice acting is fantastic. So, reminder... Please tell me that's all the intro I get, and I just have to go... Okay. And here I am again, in this forgotten place. How much time has passed since that unholy mess, I wonder. All this time, I've been trying to move on. But as much as I try, it just feels like I'm treading water. That tower, only there, can I finish this. That narration brought to you by the fact that people have been listening to us in 18-wheeler trucks, and I don't want them to look down to retext anymore. <laughs> So I will be reading all important oh, okay. texts. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I, I got. I had some fear for a moment. Because <laughs> it said use the left stick to move, but it's got tank controls, right? And you don't want to use a, an analog stick for tank controls. Oh, so the so you're using the directional pad? Yeah, of course I am. I'm glad that you saw this. It immediately were like, please be tank controls. Well, no, it wasn't that. I just I started. I hit back or I hit up on the the analog stick, expecting him to move up. And instead, he moved forward, which is fine. But I'm not doing that on a stick, because I'm not an absolute skunky. <laughs> I don't think I had a CRT that had a filter that oh, good. Baby. Look at this walk cycle. <laughs> he is walking wide. <laughs> so you, you do not control the camera, right? Like it's No, standing... it's fixed angle. Painkillers. You know... I'm kind of vibing with it so far. That is... I'm on the first screen, so that's not saying much, but I kind of like the uh, aesthetic. That filter is really thick. I don't know if I had a it's CRT that thick. was uh, that thick. So it looks kind of like it controls like Resident Evil, but looks like out of this. Or, yeah, out of this it world. looks like Alone in the Dark, like the original. Ah, uh, yep, actually. <laughs> Dude, this I agree. It what sounds like Clock Tower. Why does it sound like Clock Tower? Do we... check it out? Oh. I don't have a gun. Oh, no. Excuse me, sir. Oh, shit. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you're slow as fuck. I'm not scared. <laughs> I don't know. The things in Parasite Eve are slow. Mm. Excuse me, sir. A key is behind the AC unit on the roof. Gotcha. All right. uh, anything else in this room, I guess? Does people actually hurt you? Do we know that they hurt you? Well, they do like a little attack animation, it looks like. I mean, that thing just straight up with the hug you, but then held back because I wasn't sure if you could sense it. Yeah, see, it does look like a little attack animation, but it's very slow, so I can just kind of leave. Word. So... Dude, the circles on the fan are so warped. They definitely convinced me that this was programmed on a fucking PlayStation 1. I accept key. There's not a run button. That I found, at least. So this is just... Get used to this speed, because it's what I'm going to be rocking in. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I very well might, but Resident Evil 1 was the first, like, 3D game with a run button? Uh... Maybe... Because Metal Gear doesn't have it. Crash doesn't have it. 
Well, Crash, you're always running. Crash had that, like, uh... You have contextual kind of analog damage. run. No, no, not the original one. Oh, God. Algebra. Ugh. My head. I'm glad the original like, English folklore finds work. <laughs> <laughs> no, Crush 1 doesn't support oh, uh, so sticks at all. You come to. Where am I? I woke up laying in a hospital bed. A man who calls himself GP said he took care of me after I passed out on the roof. Wonder if those are his initials. As for how I got to the roof, I have it the foggiest. Well, they are my initials. My my full name is General Practitioner. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't even make that connection. That's That's smart. The monster I saw. He says they just showed up one day and started attacking everyone. Oh, and to stay away from the roof... He says it's pretty bad up there, which is why he's barricaded himself in the top floor. If next to the Not on the top Wait, floor, in the top floor. If you wanted to stay away from the top of the building, why would you barricade yourself on the top floor? If you're a doctor, like a mad scientist trying to, like, study monsters. He's clearly not. <laughs> I told him I wanted to go to the tower, and that if things were this bad, I just needed another way. GP says that all the buildings in the city were connected via wire which were used by survivors to send each other supplies until help arrived. Unfortunately, the wires seemed to be down. Just my luck. Okay, Bob, post apocalyptic. Gotcha. GP looked at Dog, me... did you see those things walking around? You don't have those things walking around if your world hasn't fallen. <laughs> I assumed it was like Silent Hill and we're here by ourselves. Oh. Well, you know what? I, you're right. GP looked at me and said, For now, go to the roof and check on the AC unit. It's getting hot as hell in here. I'm glad to see that even in post-apocalyptic, if the AC doesn't work, then nothing's going to get done. <laughs> is that a gas canister? Dude, the fucking screen warping on this motherfucker is ridiculous. I like that they have the cheap plastic sides to really sell the experience. <laughs> see, I've I never had like a TV with those kind of sides. Oh, I am getting some, uh, some Silent Hill vibes now. Now that I have a, just a pipe wrench. Oh yeah, that's very Silent Hill. Like I said earlier, head to the roof and check on the outdoor AC unit. Take a left as soon as you're out on the roof. It'll be in the very back. See, now that's not very authentic. An APC that if gave me explicit weapon, directions. Grab that wrench next to the bed. Also, like, I know we're... Oh, the... no, see, now we're back. See, I know we're the wrench, rooftop. But he, he can't, he can't uh, adjust for you having already grabbed the wrench, so... I know where the rooftop AC is, partially because the roof is extremely small, and partially because I had to go behind it to get the key that I got used to get me out. Wait, neurosurgery, you said? Yeah, surgery of the neuros, dude. Right, oh, what was that anime? Oh, oh yes. God! <laughs> that was bad! <laughs> oh. Can we... have, like, a map? Are we allowed to play that Eagle Raptor clip about the whip having a delay? I'm glad you have infinite swings on the pipe. That was going to be... <laughs> yeah, because, uh... We don't even waste the three of them just, like, watching gravity do things. Yeah, I was assuming the elevator would be out of service. No, please. Oh, so... Mm. So when I when I prompt something like the elevator is out of service or like this, hitting X does not advance. You just have to wait until it's done. Oh no. Oh, that seems like an oversight. Oh, he sure is barricaded, huh? Is there like a quick no there's not. So apparently Donna Crisis was the first uh, one to have a quick turn. Yeah, I think a lot of people remember the first uh, Resident Evil having one, but I think that's mostly because like the later versions of it would put one in. The DS version of Resident Evil 1 looks like Resident Evil 1, but has the button. So, maybe the Green Label added it too, I don't remember. I tried not to play the Green Label one. Oh. Did you guys just do a Metal Gear on me? Hey, painkillers! I always take painkillers from random toilets. <laughs> Are you... 
Is it like so post about the lift that you have to use recycled painkillers? Cause I'm not, I'm not down with that. How do you recycle a painkiller? Yeah. You got it from a toilet, man. I didn't think the joke was that esoteric. The door seems to be broken. A lot of broken doors around here. Well, thankfully. Thankfully, I got this here wrench. <laughs> it's a pretty good wrench. It's a pretty good size wrench. This is a different roof. I'm sure it's the same roof, just so I'm No, different. it's okay. very much a different roof. Did he find me and bring me to a different building? Was that a dream sequence? Is this a dream sequence? Am I a butterfly dreaming I am a man? I don't know that red box sticks out, dude. Maybe you need to whack it. It isn't time to go there. It had the load turning you around. That's amazing. So if you if you can't see the video, the game had to like fade to black and load the ability to turn his happy ass 180. Oh, oh no. I mean, they're also very slow. Mm. Uh oh, did I get hit there? I did. It's really hard to tell, but I did get hit there. And I kind of like hoped we were going for a pacifist run. Well, because I'm, I'm kind of wondering, because I think in the original... Silent Hill for the PS1, the ending you got did at least somewhat tie back to how many enemies you killed, I think? Yes. Especially two and three. So if we get a bad ending because I kill these enemies uh, and you want me to come back and get a good one, I can do that. I'm it's, honestly digging it. It's got those so really, really, really bad old controls. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm still going to make that video defending tank controls. That shit is well, still... Well, it's not just tank control. I mean, look at this. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I'll give refer back to Igor after. That is some fucking delay. Well, it's only unfair if the enemies can greatly outpace you. Oh, the beginning ones don't seem to. Do you have to crawl through the ducks? That's what it wants you to do? No, uh, I had to go to one of these DC units. Alright, that'll do it. Do you remember the AC unit outside your house that has the on switch? I mean, I've never had one of these, like, apartment rooftop ACs, so I don't know. I don't know how they do Remember that time the giant sacks of something were on the rooftop? Yeah, I lost a decent chunk of health there. I feel like I could have played that better. How much health did I lose? Like half? How much do these painkillers recover? About 30%? Alright. I mean, I guess we would have to know that for the future, but I don't know. I feel like they're going to make you have to need them later on. I well, say that. I kinda, this game... I say, if I have to go into the game later with less painkillers, it, it's no different than me having to go into the game later with one painkiller more, but also, like, 30 less health. You're not wrong. Yeah, also, the first one's supposed to be free, right? They want you to, like, put oh, your... Oh, more painkillers right there! Nice. Yeah, they, they want you to, like, get your hands in it, right? They want you to use, like, yeah, use yeah. the painkillers. Well, I'm also assuming this game is designed like a game from 1995. But chances are the actual design oh, philosophy is going to be... Yeah, I was commenting on that. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's that's warpy. Ah, got one more task for you. Of course you do. Die! Just as I thought I was free, GP hit me with another favor. I need these documents, you see, and I'm way too old to go get them. He seemed apologetic, Guess but I was taken aback. Right? I mean, documents? At a time like this? He went on. Go left once you're on the roof, and you'll see the emergency stairwell. Use it, and you should be able to get into the lower floors. It is time to go there. <laughs> We're about to see why he is barricaded on the top floor. Oh, the stairs on this floor were blocked by a bunch of lockers, probably to keep monsters out, which means it's not safe down there. I asked the old man, are those documents really that important? He just nodded in silence. Guess I have no choice, dot dot dot. The dots in this game look more like plus signs. Tell me I'm wrong. I have no judgment. You can't. Riverside Neurosurgery. 50th floor. Oh, I didn't. Is this the reverse of a, a tower game? 
<laughs> Is it as her dreams, but like backwards? Not that way. It says the machine's broken, but I see a cup sitting right there. A one. I refuse to believe the game is legitimately loading anything. I think the loan screens are there for the effect. <laughs> I think we talked about this one when we were playing uh, Tomb Raider, but like, I genuinely kind of like old clunky games because there's there's some there's kind of like a a unique challenge to trying to figure out how to make your goddamn character do what you want them to. Well, it, design, it allows you to design your game challenge a certain way that you just don't get anymore. It also when, obviously works really well for horror games, and less, less so well for, for like action games. But. Yeah, we didn't record ourselves playing Tomb Raider 1, uh, but I remember us talking about that, where Tomb Raider clearly wants you to be able to jump from pillar to pillar and be aerobatic, and the controls just don't really work for that. I still like the game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, Tomb Raider 2 on PlayStation is hard as shit, though. There is no excuse why that game is as hard as it is. Oh, he baited me! What? Oh, man, we're doing the hit and run strap pretty hardcore now. Load your attack? What's going on, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now officially I want to pass the first runs, but probably for different reasons than Ninja does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that they've like. They've like, uh. You're not gonna get that because they put things directly in the way. It's like. So yep. that's where I'm supposed to go. I, Jesus. Could, I could get around them. It's, Jesus, if I had a run us. button, especially, I could get around them. Alright, well. So you know how in Star Ocean 3, you'll keep walking after you stopped? This gives the opposite. You'll you'll start walking after you go. Wall hacks! God, the texture warping, holy shit. Texture warping is the one thing about playing PlayStation 1 games that looks really, really... I think PlayStation 1 games would have, like... It almost kind of gives me, like, a motion sickness kind of effect. When the, the floor looks like it's swimming underneath you. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's worse here because they're playing it up. But, like, a legitimate PlayStation 1 game will have that, and it's the one thing that really shows its age. Nothing. And you know what game's worst about it? Huh. Probably Tomb Raider 1. The texture warping on the walls in that game is... It's been um, a while since I played it. I don't remember. Oh, dude, it'll come back. Oh, God. I have to fight these things in a cubicle? Is that a gun? Oh, uh, hell yeah. The trophy's called Kids Playing With Guns. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, we're, we're gonna keep the pipe wrench right now, because I can kill, as long as there's just like one or two of them, I can kill them with a wrench. Yeah, how many bullets do you have? I didn't see, it was a single digit number. I don't have any bullets. Oh, sorry. Uh, actually, this is not the main character. Ninja, you wanna read this? <clears throat> Go. I should have escaped when I had the chance. If I only had known, this is hell. Everyone who stayed behind is dead or dying. I probably won't last much longer. Why the hell did I come here anyways? You'll get my nomination for Oscar. I'm waiting for the next nomination. It says like the same thing, but it's like, it's followed by like, stupid GP <laughs> sending me off here. <laughs> do I have to, the question is now, do I have to load the pistol? I sure do. Aim with the R1 button and shoot with square. Dude, that's snappy. 
is the opposite of the wrench. Wait, but I, I have bullets, right? I don't... You just grab some. Okay. Okay, so it tracks so the hit. bullets on the item screen. So you have to equip the bullets? It says use. Yeah, I hit, I hit the use button. It didn't do anything. <laughs> no, there's gotta be... There's a way. It looks like it says there's zero bullets in my gun. I mean, you gotta try to shoot something to find out? No, because then I, I don't have that bullet anymore. Oh, okay. I'll just find out when my life is in danger. It's fine. Or whenever you Give see GP again. Whenever <laughs> I see GP again. There's not enough food for the both of us, and I have a gun. <laughs> if you had gone to get the paperwork, you would have had a gun. The paperwork is the lit. Oh, shit! Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, the paperwork's the lit. Uh, GP design a super bomb that kills all the mutants. But you just killed them instead. And the document should just never see you. Okay, so I get Alone in the Dark didn't have music, but come the fuck on. Ow, what the fuck? I get 1995. Ow, what the fuck? Dude, you're about to die. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I could have sworn I had painkillers. What happened? Right. I mean, that trash can, maybe? Oh, this camera angle really makes the floor warping look very bad. <laughs> appreciate the effort they put into this. So I guess uh, I'm... I don't know if this is actually instructional and if I'm actually learning anything or I'm just drawing false inferences or not. Okay. The way that they have that floor pattern look like, like it's like uh, the floor in Doom or something like that, the way that they would make things like square and uniform was probably to avoid this like problem on PlayStation 1. Because, like, as soon as we got out of place, oh, okay. All right, well, that's important. There he goes, man. Child of the 90s, riding it down. Oh, no, he's taking a photo of it. I mean, it's like a man numbers, of the 21st I don't think, century. I don't think I'll forget it, but, you know, why chance it? All right. We might be in a real similar room later where, you know. I actually, um. What's happening with the wall? Oh no, that's how Tomb Raider looks like. <laughs> is, it... <laughs> is that what it looks like? <laughs> I cannot audibly describe what happened. You're gonna have to rewind the video if you missed it. Oh my god. I'm so This was for five this was five dollars. This is um, I spent five dollars of ninja's money for this, and I'm glad I did. Thanks, Ninja. Thanks, Ninja. And yes, to be clear, Ninja did not know this happened until, Ooh, like, just now. Which, by the way, you still have $20 on my account, so... I unlocked the door with the key? Alright. Did I put the thing in and then use a key to unlock the door? Maybe. Is it double locked, or did I... Was it just... Jesus. There's a note written on the whiteboard. Top sells this month. <laughs> Sam Miles, Jake Old, Jensen O'Field. The winner will receive a pay bonus. Oh, yeah, the only bonus worth, worth it. This might actually be important. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Painkillers! Nice. The fuck is that? Is that on the wall? Be oh, okay, it's the AC behind you on the wall. Oh, God! Dr. Randall holds key to solving world's energy problem. That's a headline. Dr. Randall from the UK1K Foundation's research lab proved the existence of beings beyond the third dimension. Are you fucking serious? She also said the following about her next research. Well, hey, at least energy problems are not something we're going to have moving forward. The latest data suggests that our world was only two dimensions until just recently. Will it turn to four? Concepts like recently and hereafter exist on a time axis that is unrecognizable by us. What? 
What? What though? What? We made it up. No, we didn't. What? No, we made it up. There's another door in here. Oh, I gotta I'm gonna, gonna take that clip of the audio clip of you saying to, that. To see if the enemies respawn. It doesn't look like they do. Right. Am I the fourth? Is, this, is the twist that I'm the fourth dimensional being and all these things I'm killing are just like the survivors? That is super clever. I do not expect that. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't know how meta... Sometimes things will, like, be a tease and be like, it's gonna get pretty meta. It's gonna be food for thought. Man. So and we're that's... being attacked by time monsters. Well, see, what I read was, it's the plot that Donna Christ is, but it neither has dinosaurs or the sense that Donna Christ is made. Or it's the plot to Doom 2020. Uh, you know, I still need to play 2018? that. 2018? 2018. 2018. Uh, and I still need to play that. It looks Doom 2020 fun. was a very different thing. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> Gonna figure out how to reload now. You can't turn while you're aiming the gun. As you shouldn't. Figured out how to reload. Oh, that how long that takes in the reload? Oh, God. You know, I feel like that's safely ignored. That's his feet, isn't it? He is clipping up through the floor. No. They're just creatures. Can they be wrenched to death? Yeah, you know, I should try the wrench, right? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am upset. I don't... I, I regret... Like, these things are clearly sentient. If they didn't try to bite me, I wouldn't wrench them, dude. I want to point out, and we can review the footage, that these things have not once tried to bite him. They did. They don't jack. Uh, you know. It's about the same. What do you think they're lunging at me to do? Hug you. Mm. <laughs> I have to plan out my reloads because I don't have a reload button that I know of. Maybe I do. Yeah, what are the chances? That it's the same. It's not. It's not the same. There's a lot of paperwork here. It's not. I guess it's not the paperwork. Right? I mean, Can you describe the paperwork to me at all? Or even tell me what He said it was. it was very important. <laughs> then he, like, nodded. Oh. Not really much of a visual descriptor, but... A painting on the desk. Cool. It, it has number four on it. Okay, so the sound direction of this game is fucking ass. I think it's fine. Do we think it's purposeful? I think it's purposeful. I think they no, would be proud. I think if they were, if the developers were in this room or watching this video, they'd be proud to be like, hell yeah, that's the reaction we wanted. But it doesn't prevent the fact that I'm already tired of listening to this buzz. Okay, but you want to know what, though? Like, it's supposed to be unsettling. <laughs> I have so far had no problem. See, I knew this would be right up your alley, too. I, I knew this would be the exact type of thing that you'd want to get in on. It's weird. It's arcane. It kind of punishes the player for deciding to play it. But, in a way, I like that. Key. That's a chunky key. Can I open these other safes? Gonna be a big no on that one. That's some bullets, Do the, the floor reminds me of the art direction of the Monte Cristo anime. Where, like, hold on, I need to harvest these ink cartridges. Who knows how long the office printer has left? <laughs> right? Go print them out a new document. Oh, I guess the uh, I guess Google Cloud doesn't exist in 1995. I'm presuming this takes place in also, 1995. Also, I'm pretty sure the cloud would be down right now. Uh, you know, the AC works, so. You look a little upset about what I just said. What what I said that was wrong. The, the AC does work. You're right. All right. Nothing you said. So the cloud obviously works too, right? <laughs> That's something we can determine. Oh. oh! Okay, now that we can. But that one's hostile. Like, I'm glad I have your permission. Oh no! 
It's like a flamingo. It's not upsetting fetus. you're killing this thing because it's trying. It's upsetting to that it's. Oh no, dude, yeah, you're gonna I'm die. I'm upset that it exists. Really? That took out a shit ton of health. You were at 80. I wasn't at 80. You were fucking at 80. It kicks you, you're gonna go down to 15. So it seems that bullets are simply long range and they're not. Yeah, they don't do far. any more damage, that's for sure. Alright. But those things have a deceptively good range and I don't want to fuck with them. Oh, the thing that's 90% legs can kick pretty far? Who knew? These things are way too snake like for my liking. You see that? Look, it looks like a snake, and that's like the top of it is his mouth. It, it doesn't have like a see, crane. It, it, it kind of has like a slug head situation going on in my mind. See, and that just reminds me. Motherfucker! Uzumaki. That just reminds me of Uzumaki, and I don't want to be Wait, reminded of Wait, can they only Uzumaki. attack? Can you only attack? They can only attack in front of them, and they can't turn. So you think you can just walk around them? They do die in one hit, though, so I would. Listen, if I get through this game and I find out there was a reason to play through without killing, killing these things, I'll do it. But I haven't even been getting, given a hint of, like... The fuck's happening, right? <laughs> I guess, like, the floor snakes, I could probably easily maneuver around, but the rest of this shit, it gotta go. <laughs> was there nothing in this room but pain? I don't know. What's Is that, like, a newspaper or something on the floor? I think that's a keyboard. Oh, that probably is right. To that monitor that somebody just fucking tossed across the room for some reason. They probably got kicked. See, that looks like a phone or something. It is. Can't interact. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this room feels like it was a waste of time. That can't be... I guess it is. Well, there can't be a random room that has nothing with enemies in it. That'd be very 1995. Well, listen, did I pick up an item in there that I just forgot about? Or... You might have when I was uh, checking the computer. Where was the, there was a door that required a key. Recording with my janky ass setup was it back requires here? me to check my computer a lot. Yeah, there is a lot door back there. Because you do have a new key, so. <sighs> so the fact that they said that the world was only in two dimensions kind of recently, do we think that this thing is meant to be a spiritual successor to out of this world? If, if so, dude, they uh, That's took hella some metal. liberties. That's hella metal. Uh, I just realized the ceiling. Don't look at the ceiling, guys. <laughs> attacked by some bad raisins. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. Uh, it looks like a chocolate-covered raisin. I've learned to beware your lingering hitbox. This is footage from that um, Pac-Man horror spinoff. <laughs> Janky-ass 3D ghost coming around. <laughs> They are janky. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts to look at. Oh, please stop. <laughs> Existence is hell. Yeah, it seems like they're getting the full amount of mileage that you can get out of this effect. In, like, Wait, are those bullets? It's something. I don't think you can no, really escalate... The warping on the floor any harder. I think that we're. Are you saying we already reached max warp speed? Something, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you saw the sales results. So close. I totally got Sam beat next month. Anyways, I put the cursed item in the safe. <laughs> what? Cursed item? Anyways! <laughs> what? The password? Just subtract your room number from my employee's ID. It's easy, right? Listen, the, you were doing all right until about halfway. Yeah. Man, sales are getting really close. Anyway, I hit the cursed item. And anyhow, the the monkey jewel of the cursed now, yeah, it's in the locker. 
Eyes on the prize, man. Oh, man. We haven't seen an employee number or a room number yet. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like they should be writing notes about, ah, we're in the what? third dimension hey. now. Oh, oh, what? Are you on top of the desk? Is it time to stand on the furniture? Oh, wait, do you think that's a video game thing? Do you think that the whole meta of this game is that, like, they're in a video game, and now video games are 3D when they were 2D? Well, Who knows? Are you fighting against clunky enemy designs that came with 3D gaming, and that's the horror? The well, horror? I can tell you that I am fighting against clunky enemy designs that came with the advent of 3D gaming, but I can't tell you if that's part of the plot or not. And, like, nonsensical item placement. Like, this game is basically, like... No, I'm just wondering how, like, literal this game's trying to be. Well, no, I feel like the more I think about it, the more this game really is, like, man, Tomb Raider and Resident Evil 1 suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a love letter, it's an actual hate letter. <laughs> and yet I'm still here having a blast, so... Oh, man, I mean... Well, no, like, sometimes, like, two minutes That's of hate... That's definitely something. Hold on. Like, sometimes, like, two minutes of hate is, like, what you really need, you know what I mean? Sometimes we, like, really need to, like, complain about something and get it off our chest. Alright. See, it's not a real, uh, it's not a real game of the era until it has, like, an entire mechanic that it just never tells you. There's, like, a button that you have to press to do something, and it's nowhere explained in the game. Yes. Oh, so you can't open the door when too close. That's amazing. Yeah. Is it the other door that was locked? No, that, door, that was the door that was locked. Okay. Dude, if I had booted this up and told you this was a port of an unreleased game from 1995, you'd believe me. Did he say he hid the item in the safe? Yes. It's your room number minus his sales. Or is it Was it safe or locker? I don't know. I haven't seen one of either that I can open. That door over there has a combination on it, but I can't. I don't know how to find that combination yet. <laughs> Dude, looking at the walls, do the fucking rope wave like they're at a college football game? <laughs> Who's watering this plant? Joker from Persona 5. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we are going down, huh? Well, I can't go any further down. I can check out the uh, upper floors afterwards, I guess. Wait a second. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're right, man. I unlocked one of the doors upstairs. Right. The enemies have respawned. Uh, that checks out. That's consistent with, like, old games. No, that's a three, right? <laughs> well, I'm stumped. Wait, are everyone here? To be honest, it's already starting to merge together. I didn't go in here. And I never should have. This is amazing to watch on many levels. Die! Ooh, that was loud. Alright, start slapping X on things. How about this important little document? Nope, it's just a note. The following employees must claim their assessment reports from HR. Ann Bicker, ID 151. Jake Old, ID 213. Sam Miles, ID 257. Thank you for your cooperation. So now I have to figure out what his office number is? How the fuck? There's a reception desk. Maybe there's paperwork around there that, that um, you know, says it. Wow. 
was great. I'm running out of ways to comment on the uh, on the wall. Yeah, I get it, dude. Thanks. Well, hopefully they don't hit us with any like Resident Evil like push the statue onto the recess and buy the painting. Oh on no, fire. please, please bring that. <laughs> I want the whole game to be that. Too much exploration happening. More puzzles, please. <laughs> yeah. So see this shit. There's gotta be something here you can do. What I think that I'm hoping for is that, similar to uh, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, I hope that the longer you play this game, the more, like, you start to... Uh, that floor. <laughs> I hope the longer I play, the worse the floor warping gets. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope that it isn't... Dude, that's kind of almost happening, though. I actually, like, hope that it isn't localized to the floors. Like, I kind of, like, hope the entire thing ends up... Uh, the whole thing ends up warping until everything is those, those weird beanbag monsters. <laughs> so in the in the Pantheon, how much more relevant and popular do you think that some of the more contemporary Pixar characters are than Mickey Mouse to anybody who's alive? None. Ooh, not okay. a single one. A fucking two-year-old knows who Mickey Mouse is. Alright. And you think that, uh... I mean, name me someone that could do it. Well, I don't know. I'm like, I don't have kids. I'm, you know, asking you to speculate because you're, like, more familiar with the subject matter. Are you implying that I watch a bunch of children's shows? I'm saying you pride yourself on, like, being knowledgeable about Disney. Ah! Aha! What up? Hold on. Why is the why is the period a plus? It's been that way. But why? I literally commented on that. Yeah, but I didn't jail either. <laughs> Motherfucker. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Damn. I hope they could hear the fucking silence between us where you just stare at each other over the dumb thing you just said. I was being too clear. Try second, third, fourth. While we're here. No. Nope. I wonder if the game punishes you for trying all thousand combinations. Yeah, it punishes you in that it takes a lot of time to do it. Well, let me tell you something. If I decided that the only way to get through a game was to do something like that, I'd look it the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You do all the combinations, and you finally brute force the right one, and it's like, congratulations, that's the right one, but you gotta go find the notes that tells you. <laughs> there are definitely uh, games like that where you put in the right one, and it just won't work until you're... Yeah, I've played games where um, if you put in the correct... Uh, I think Resident Evil 7 does it. If you put in the right number the first time, they'll change it. So, like, later on when you find a note that has the number on it, it'll just be different. Oh, it's come to this, huh? I, uh, I'm actually look, gonna look forward to checking out the discourse on this game. I wonder if people on the internet have... We're, we're not even sure if this game's, like, widespread enough to have... If so, though. I mean, if I if I have to start the Discord, I'll fucking do it myself. Well, wait a second, is that a thing on that tape? Okay. See, the problem is, if a person was going to try to engage about the game, and they'd be like, "Oh, okay, I was thinking about buying it. Is it fun?" Like, that's a that's a rough question. Like, hmm, is it fun? fun? <laughs> I don't know if I would say it's fun. Is it a valuable experience? I don't know if I would say it's a valuable experience. <laughs> Could they have just said the I had a good time playing it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I wish you were doing something closer to playing it now, but you're instead you're just hitting X on a bunch oh, of desks. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, where do I go? I mean, where's the thing that you saw that I put in this? I mean, can't always look it up. The fuck is that? It's a note on the floor. Which, it's on the chair, very clearly. Which note is it? I, I'm sure we read it. Yeah, this is the word in hell. He didn't say numbers in here, did he? Nope. Yeah. See, I wish it was like, uh... I wish it was like other games of this of this style where you would pick up the files that you read. Oh, they're not in the logs? No, I checked earlier. They are not in there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the gift I'm going to use to describe this game in the future. <laughs> Please uh, clip that for YouTube shorts. It brings back the, uh, I think it was the Bomber Guy quote, where th this game has fighting mechanics in the same way that a car being driven off a cliff has flight mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. What a... That's his um pathological video, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, even though this video is probably only about thirty minutes long, hopefully, for the viewer, we're approaching an hour mark, which is as much as the PS4 will natively record shit for us. Uh my computer, if you know the last video that we uploaded, is pretty fucked up. Kinda like that attack. What did that even get hit by? So, I'll go save. If we're continuing this game, if we come back for part two, I will look up the next, like, two steps so that progress can be made. I can make the progress. I'm, I'm close. I'm very close. I will let Justice play the game until progress can be made. So you do not have to worry about, like, a part two being us running around in circles. I feel like I'm close to cracking this. I think you are, dude. I, I think even at a time we could. It's just that we, uh... Running out of time at the moment, so like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, and uh, let us know if you want to see part two sooner and not later.